Uh, okay, uh, in this uh, tutorial, I will explain about how to use uh, Rapid Rendering. Uh, especially, I will start with uh, exterior rendering setups first. So for this tutorial, uh, I'm going to use a sample architecture project. Uh, this one is when you open uh, Rabbit uh, 2015. Uh, this one is default uh, opening window. And then I just click this one, sample architecture project. Okay, so once you open it, uh, probably you will see some uh, drawing view. Or something, you may have something different view than this. Or in any case, um, what we are going to see is first we will see model. And to see 3D model, simply go to view here. Uh, this is somewhere top middle part. And then I will click a 3D view. And by doing this, you can actually see the 3D model of the sample building. So to first uh, use rendering, uh, first of all, uh, rendering for daylighting, uh, we need to set up uh, daylighting parameters. So first I will uh, turn on shadow, which is at the lower bar. Uh, I will, by clicking it, I will turn on shadow. So you will see this kind of shadow here. And then we need to set up also uh, daylight. So I will click sun pass off and I will click sun pass on. And I will click, um, so far I will just continue with current settings. So probably you will see this kind of uh, uh, settings here. And you can actually, uh, specifically you can choose location and time uh, by clicking sun path on and sun settings. And then I will click uh, still under solar study section. And then probably I'll just check uh, fall equinox as a sample average case. And here the current location is Boston, Massachusetts. I will change to Miami, Florida. So click this one, the, right, the but blue button next to it. And then I will change define location by from internet mapping service to I will change to default city list. And then I will change the city uh, into Miami. I just click M. So I go to uh, M uh, cities with M. And I'll simply select uh, Miami here. Uh, and then probably you may want to use uh, default setting for full equinox probably. Uh, then actually OK. So now it's ready, but the time is 9 a.m. for now. So I'll change it to uh, 1 p.m. So here, uh, the solar position is set as uh, the time is 4 equinox. And we are going to use till. And then the date is uh, September 22nd. So I'll change it to probably uh, 2014, September and 22. So this is probably uh, this year's uh, fall equinox and 1 p.m. So I simply click OK. So now your our sun is here, and then this one shows current setting. And actually, you see the kind of very uh, uh, shallow shadow here. So our uh, uh, sun is set, and now next process, next step is uh, now a kind of let's uh, test the rendering. So to render any view in uh, Rabbit, simply click this one, show rendering dialog. The icon look like teapot with uh, blue light burp. So if I click it, you'll see uh, rendering setting. Uh, if you have different one, I will make sure that for during testing rendering process, I'll just use draft because uh, since if you click best, you may uh, look a better quality rendering, but the time is exponentially increased and it's gonna take a while. So I'll select draft and click just render. Then you will see your first rendering. So this one, so rendering in Revit is relatively simple compared to uh, the rendering that I covered uh, last uh, a couple of weeks uh, which is 3d max rendering uh, again then actually this is our first rendering um, and then actually if you want to change a kind of little bit um, uh, contrast and light actually you can change those values here uh, image adjust exposure and you can make a little bit brighter or darker and also you can control highlight a mid-tone and shadows here and then call also also saturation here too. Okay, and if you want to save, uh, and then I strongly recommend for you to save all the procedure rendering tests. 
Uh, if you want to save it, save it in Rabbit file. Just save to project. Click this one. Then uh, this one I said uh, exterior uh, test zero uh, zero one. My first exterior rendering test, and then click OK. And then if you want to export it as JPEG or other image file, just click export. And then just select any folder. I will just going to use desktop. And I save as also exterior. Um, first uh, exterior uh, 001. And probably you may want to remember some other parameters like this one is for Equinox. Uh, 1 p.m. So I save it. And then probably and then you can use it that you can use that image for your presentation probably later. So here is my uh, rendered image here. And it, if you want to go back to this view in uh, Rabbit, if you go down to uh, rendering folder in, under project browser here, uh, there is a rendering folder. And then here, exterior test 001 is actually, if you just double click it, you will see the rendered view. Okay, so this one is uh, how to use rendering, but this one is full Equinox, and I probably, the, your assignment is actually uh, uh, making nine rendering, which is uh, uh, summer source stills, and winter source stills, and four Equinox, and 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and probably 5 p.m. Uh, if you want to change time, okay, so I'm going back to 3D view again, and then I will change the uh, sun setting, so I'll change to full equinox, probably 5 p.m., and okay, then actually you see this one is very dark, and shadow is actually here. So if you want to change that, and if you want to render it, go to click this one, show rendering dialog, and then here, uh, I will probably uh, use a little bit higher one to see a better rendering, and actually I'm going to use medium. Uh, if you want to use it for printing for your midterm review or final review, you may want to use printer setting. And this one is the size of it, about uh, 30 centimeter and 28 centimeter. And then probably you can increase, probably if, you, if it's printing purpose, you may want to use uh, 300 dpi at least. And then the image size is about 4.6 gigabyte, so be careful about it. Um, but for now, I will just use screen again, and then my setting is medium and sun only, and then I will render. And it's gonna take a while, so let's wait a little bit. So slightly, the rendering has uh, better quality than uh, before, uh, the previous one, which is using draft. But sometimes you want to test uh, high or best uh, rendering setting. But probably this will uh, take tremendous amount of time. So you may want to. So there's another way for you to save your time and also check uh, the high quality rendering, which is you are going to use region. So region is actually you can select some important area and then to see the region you need to click a show crop region this button here this angled uh, bar and uh, blue light curve if you click it and then you will see some uh, boundary uh, rectangle blue rectangular frame if you select it you can actually change the region and then actually I will only select some important area which is probably I want to I may want to test uh, some uh, shadow and also some some window and living room quality so probably this is my main let's say this one is my, my main interest area and I want to see how this rendering will look like when I use high uh, settings so if I render this one at, if I render region with manipulated uh, crop area if I render it this one only uh, render this the area inside the crop, the cropped area. So by doing this, uh, you can save time and then you can test uh, some small areas. Otherwise, if you 
if you render a whole view, that probably will take uh, a long, long time. So this one is actually very, this one is highly useful for you to check some important parts of your rendering with high quality settings. So uh, you can expect uh, what kind of rendering you will get after uh, several hours of rendering. So it looks, looks like this one shows all rendering, so I canceled it. Uh, so probably I may use this one, crop view. So I will use crop view. So now I'm kind of activate crop view only. And here I will render it. Uh, so now it, this will only render uh, this window area. So again, uh, sorry for any confusion. You need to select uh, this one and change the viewport area. And you need to also activate uh, this crop view uh, icon. So by doing that, the rendering uh, will limit uh, each area uh, inside the cropped uh, rectangular box. So now you can test some glass and shadow quality and it really looks quite good. So if you're happy about it, I probably test a couple of different spots. Uh, uh, and then actually if you're happy about uh, those spots and then you can render uh, full size rendering. Uh, okay, so this one is actually exterior rendering setting. Uh, in the next one, I will explain how to use section box. Uh, okay, thanks.